This is our lesson number 21 in Sapphire Kingdom Gemology YouTube channel. In this lesson, we are learning about the diamond. This is part two. Here we are discussing the diamond brilliance and fire. There are two things we should understand. One is brilliance and the other one is fire. Everybody need to understand well of this. Diamond cutting with the best fire. We are discussing it. You can discuss, we can discuss this, these pictures in inside the lesson. If you forgot to subscribe, please subscribe and press the bell icon and give like, share and comment. We learned this in lesson 20 also. These are the diamonds I gave you to compare and understand. Now we are moving there. This is the Kalinan diamond. It is the world largest rough diamond. We got it. 3106.75 carats. Kalinan is the name of that diamond. And this is that. Look at the size of the diamond. It's a very old photo. With this diamond, they cut into nine pieces here. You can see here three and the six here. These are the pieces they cut into. Together, these nine stones weigh a total of 1055.89 carats out of this 3000. Okay. They have been named using Roman numerals as Kalinan 1 through Kalinan 9. From the left, Kalinan 1, Kalinan 2, Kalinan 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the names they gave. Now look at here. There is a golden jubilee. The name of this diamond is golden jubilee, colored diamond. This diamond is incomparable. With the photo, it is mentioned what is the size of a one carat diamond. This is one carat diamond, then you can compare with this. This is one carat diamond and you can compare with this. Now we need to understand what is this golden jubilee and incomparable. It is a yellowish brown. See the color yellowish brown diamond weighing 545.67 carats after cutting. It weighs 15.37 carats more than the Kalinan one. You can see the Kalinan one here. This is Kalinan one. This one is 15.37 carats more than the Kalinan one. This one. Altogether, 545.67 carats. Here, incomparable. This is the world third largest faceted diamond. And the Kalinan one. After the Kalinan one. And the golden jubilee. Kalinan one is one. The golden jubilee is the second one. This is the third one. It is also the world largest internally flawless diamond. This is very special because... No inclusions included there. Any inclusion. It is inclusion free. That means internally flawless. We can take the first letter I and the with here first letter F. Then it is called if quality. That is the clarity is if. If means internally flawless. This is the third largest. Then you can compare one carat with the picture. Now four C's of a diamond. Look at the cut. Cut is one C. Clarity, another C. Color, another C. Carat weight, another C. We learned earlier C4 concept in gem gemstones. So, four Cs of a diamond is cut, clarity, color, carat weight. Not only for diamond, for the uh, gemstones. Now, look at the diamond brilliance and fire. I need to explain you the difference between the brilliance and the fire. Look at the first uh, picture here. Brilliance. Brilliance is this. Light comes through the top of the uh, table and reflects 
completely reflects to the other side of that, then it reflects from the table. It is white light, but we can see here it is grayish white. Gray and white mixed color gives the luster. That gray and white mixed luster calls brilliance. The other side, light creates, when the light comes here, these facets convert into, break it into rainbow colors and those rainbow colors reflected from the pavilion to the other side and it reflects through the stones table with the color spectrum. So that is called fire. This is brilliance. Brilliance is gray and white color. Uh, fire is with the rainbow colors. This is the difference. Only the stone in this world given brilliance and fire is diamond only. Now come here. Inside the stone, the diamond will sparkle gray and white, known as brilliance. While outside of the gem, it will reflect rainbow colors onto other surfaces. That is called fire. Now you can understand well the difference between brilliance and fire. Nobody knows this. So I need to explain pro uh, professionally to understand the difference. Reflectively encompasses both the brilliance, white light sparkle, and fire, colored light that shines off of a diamond's table. A fake diamond, important thing in yellow color, a fake diamond will have rainbow colors that you can see inside the diamond. That rainbow colors you can see inside the diamond, but it is not coming to the outside. So the outside coming, this fire gives only the natural diamonds, genuine diamonds. You can understand fake and the genuine diamonds with this fire. People have a misconception that diamonds sparkle like a rainbow, but they don't. Remember that. People have a misconception that diamonds sparkle like a rainbow, but they don't. They do sparkle, but it's more of a gray color. If you see something with rainbow colors inside the stone, it could be a sign that it is not a diamond. I think you have a lot of thing here, things here to write down in your notebook. Now we are moving here. Look at the cutting method, cutting and sewing method. When diamond cutting and sewing, completely software is using to design the diamond. Cutting and sewing methods. Look at the diamond. This is the rough diamond. You know the shape already. Then after that, they are mar they are marking with marker pen. With the marker pen, they are marking how to sew. This is the line. This is the line they need to sew. And these are the places we can see or we can observe the inclusions. Then with the software, they divided it into, this is the, with the software, with the laptop, they can design this one stone like this, the other stone like this. See the two stones. No pleochroism in the diamond. So we can take the table into any other side. But if it is a pleochroism stone, we have to take the table to, to the direction of the pleochroism. So we can take the table in here and here in these ways. Now look at the, everything is done with the software design. And after, so this is, this is the rough stone, rough stone. Then it is sewing with this way. Then this is, so uh, this is the rounded uh, reform looped after looping they will grade it and finish the diamond with the loop finish the diamond this is finished diamond this is rough diamond see the steps sewing and cutting these are the polishing steps 
these are the tools and polishing steps when we are doing diamond polishing. Right. Now, what is this? Look at the perfect cut of the diamond. We learned earlier with gem cutting, what is the perfect or ideal cut? This is a deep cut, wrong. This is swallow cut, wrong. If we cut like this, what will happen? You can see the fire. What happens to the fire? You can see what happens to the fire. So the correct cut is this. This is very, very important to gem industry. When we are doing gem cutting, we have to think always the perfect cut, not the deep or shallow cut. In Sri Lanka, I saw with the gemstones, they have done this. So the market will go very highly down. If the perfect cut comes, the market will high priced. In order to see the fire clearly, the light coming out of the stone must be diffused through the table. Looking at that. It must be diffused through the table. See here. It, it is not diffused through the table. It is diffusing only these crown sides. Here, double diffused. It mixed up. So this is the best cut. Average performance larger finished weight in this diamond. Red color, pink color is the rough diamond. When they cut into two like this, they can take the larger finished weight. Cost effective. But the high quality, better performance, smaller finished weight. Look at the finished weight. It is smaller than the pink color. But it is giving high quality. Then high quality gives very high price than this cost effective diamonds. Now this is the GIA anatomy of a diamond. Look at the sizes, table size, everything is mentioned there. Everything is mentioned there with a brilliant cut. GIA recommended GIA recommends cut measurements of stone have been taught in previous lessons. You can remember the previous lesson also. If you forgot to subscribe yet, Please subscribe and give, press bell icon and give like, share and a comment. Now we are coming here. This is GIA grading, color grading scale. <clears throat> All the diamond colors starting from D, letter D up to Z. D to F, D, E, F is mentioned as colorless diamond. G to J mentioned as near colorless. K to M mentioned as, as faint yellow. N to R mentioned as very light yellow. Then S to Z is light yellow. The price is very low with the color. Price is very high with the colorless. This is color grading. Now we, this is the clarity grading. Internally flawless is if I mentioned earlier, I means internally, F means flawless, that means complete, 100% clean. Then the second quality, VVS1 and VVS2. VVS1 price and the VVS2 price is different. Extremely difficult to see inclusion under 10x magnification if it is VVS1. Slightly cleaner than VVS2. VVS1 is slightly cleaner than VVS2. Then VS1, VS2. Minor inclusions only visible under 10x magnification. VS1 is slightly cleaner than VS2. It is the next clarity grade. Next grade is visible inclusions. You can see the dots here. Is here. SI1 and SI2. Inclusions easy to, see, easy to see under 10x magnification, but usually not visible with the naked eye. That is SI1. But it is slightly cleaner than SI2. Last one, I1. You can see the different dots inside the stone. Dot means, you can see the dots. Dot means inclusions. 
inclusions visible with the naked eye, then that quality is I1. There are two more qualities in Sri Lanka. I1, I2, I3. Then you can understand the difference between I1, I2 and I3. SI1, SI2. VS1, VS2. In Sri Lanka, we have these three only. We can't find if or VVS1, 2 qualities in our Sri Lanka market because it is very highly priced. Now look at here. Internally flawless is if very, very slightly included means VVS. VV, V means very. S means slightly. Very slightly included. The third clarity gain. SI1, SI2 slightly included. S for slightly, I for included. I for included. These, these are the clarity grading. Then, these are the cuts we can find with diamonds. We know about cuts. Early lesson we have done. Now, GIA diamond color grading. Color grading. See, GIA color scale. DEF colorless. G to I, very near colorless. This range is paint, very light, and the light. These are the colors, GIA diamond, di diamond grading. This is the report. When we take diamonds report from GIA, they will print the certificate number on the girdle of the stone, on the girdle of, a, of the stone with laser technology. So the certificate number is printed on the on the girdle. It is the way the, they certify. Now you can see flow internally flawless, very, very slightly include inclusions, very slight inclusions, slight inclusions, and included. They, these are the clarity grade, grades, GIA clarity grading scale. See, no inclusions, but visible, very big amount of visible inclusion. It is this. This is this. This is the other one. I1, I2, I3. This is SI1, SI2. You can understand this. Okay. We are moving to next. Now look at the brilliance of the stone. Brilliance and the fire. There are two things. There are two things. Rainbow colors reflect off the stone. Reflects off. But if it is fake diamond, it shows the colors, rainbow colors inside the stone, not reflects to the outside. That is the main difference between the synthetic and the fake and the genuine diamond. Look at the diamond fire. That fire come, coming out of the stone should be come out through the face of the stone correctly. Gray and white brilliance emanating from the stone. See, this is gray and white brilliance. This is fire. This is brilliance. You know the difference. Now look at the differences in these diamonds. Brilliance and the fire. Look at the brilliance and fire. Cons consider the old pictures. Different angles mentioned here. Now we are uh, trying to compare diamond and the sapphire. <clears throat> Extraordinary appearance and brightness due to high reflective index. It is diamond. Adamantine luster. Oh, adamantine luster. Luster is adamantine in diamond. But the sapphire, vitreous. Sapphire, vitreous means we drew the glass like glass glass like then crystal structure of the diamond is cubic composition is pure carbon sapphire trichnol and the composition is aluminium oxide al2o3 hardness of diamond is 10 and the sapphire it is 9 Biofragrance none because it is single reflective. Biofragrance is there because it is double reflective. The difference is 008. 
RI is 2.42, very, very high refractive index. index. All the gemstones are below 1.81, but this is 2.42. And the specific gravity is 3.52. Look at the difference. RI is high in diamond, low in sapphire. There are two RIs. The difference is this. Then the specific gravity is higher than the diamond. Then you can understand the differences with these two tables in diamond and the sapphire. Then join us and learn and enrich your future. If you forgot to subscribe, please subscribe and press the bell icon. We are meeting on next section. We will learn about the diamond part three and I am ready to stop the